this video on NS3. You probably have seen my previous videos where we had discussed about the steps for generating .pcap or you can say the packet capture files. If you are new to this video, then consider watching the previous videos. I'll also share the link of the playlist in the description box below. So viewers, talking about today's topic, as you have seen the thumbnail of the video, which is about the net name. The net anim is an offline animator based on the Qt toolkit. It animates a previously executed simulation using the XML trace file generated during a simulation. It is already configured if you have followed my videos on installation and setup of NS3 in your machine. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Let's see how we can generate that XML file and observe it in NetAnim. The use of NetAnim is very simple. It is actually a two step process. Before we move forward the steps, let me be clear that we'll use the same file, the first.cc that we are using till now. For observing the animation also, we'll consider that file. So taking that file into center, let's now move to the first step. Step 1, which involves generating XML file using NS3 colon colon animation interface in NS3 code. For that, we need to first ensure that we have included the proper libraries as far as this netanim is concerned. We need to make sure that we have added netanim module.h header file. Now, we need to add the line of code or you can say the statement animation interface which is the class then anim is the you can say the alias name given then in bracket the file name with the dot xml before simulator.run every node in your topology must have mobility module in order to be displayed on the animation but it is not mandatory statement or you can say it is not mandatory to set the mobility module for each and every nodes. So for now, let's just keep that to keep it as simple as possible. So this is how you make sure that you have added all the mandatory things to generate the XML file before running the script. Now we'll run the script for generating XML file. As usual, from the NS3.37 directory or you can say the folder, we'll fire the command which is dot slash ns3 space run space the file name or which is in my case my first after the process is completed look out for the file inside ns3.37 folder now it's time for step 2 step 2 this step involves the observation of the file inside the net enemy. By default, the netanim is located outside the ns3.7 folder and from that inside the netanim 3.80 folder. And from terminal, you can find the command cd dot dot slash, then type net and then press tab for autocomplete. Inside that folder, you can use the command dot slash netanim with the capital N and capital A to open the netanim application. After that, you can view the basic arrangement of the application. From here, this yellow icon, you can open any file, or you can say this is the this is the icon from where you can the, you can open the file. Let's open the file which is generated by us. Now, this is the green button. As you can see, the button is like a play button of any video. So the working of this button is the same. If we click on that green button, then we can play the animation, right? So let's click on that green button to play the animation. As you can see that as soon as I have clicked on that green button, the animation is started to be playing. And then you can also play, uh, see the timestamp on the top panel over here. This is the time of the animation or you can see the simulation time. There are plenty of other tabs and other things which is you can explore by yourself or you can say which we will explore in some next videos. For now, this is the basic introduction of NetAnim. 
for the fast dot cc file. Hope you have got the idea that how you can play the animation using the NetAnim application. So viewers, that's it for this video. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, keep learning and keep exploring.